Hello and welcome back to another Daily 5 at 10, your Daily 5-ish Minute SLA update. I'm your host, Jasmine Tran. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Friday, June 24th. Happy Friday! Happy Friday, Jasmine. You know, I gotta ask, any plans this weekend? Actually, I'm very glad you asked this time, Zeke, because I'm actually going to Vegas this weekend. Really? Sin City? Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun, though. What are you gonna do there? Well, I'm actually going to go try a bunch of food spots. Really? You're not gonna go see the Eiffel Tower? Or the Pyramids of Egypt? Or... The Space Needle? No, but I'm definitely going to see the Statue of Liberty. Awesome. I, you know, I thought that was in New Jersey, but I'm glad it's in Vegas. Uh, I hope you have fun, but do you mind bringing me back one of those super cool I Heart Vegas t-shirts? I've always wanted one. Oh yeah, for sure. we Will do. What about you? Any plans this weekend? Well, it's definitely not Vegas, but I was going to clean my apartment this weekend. You know, I probably should have went first. Well, that's all right. I think it's great to have like a nice work-life balance and take some time for yourself. You know what else is great? What's going on in the SLA? Our SLA softball game is coming up on July 16th with sign-ups out now. What, is that it? Yeah, you're all caught up with what's going on in the SLA. Really? Wow, I think that was the shortest what's going on in the SLA in history. Well, today is Friday, which means it's time for Friday's Top 5. So, what are we counting down today, Jazz Minute to Win It? Well, today we're going to be discussing our top five places to get insurance industry updates. Sounds quite pertinent, so let's go! <laughs> Kicking things off with our number five place to get insurance industry updates here at the SLA. We have our industry calendar on our SlateCat website, which will keep you updated on all major industry events, as well as here on our show. Longtime viewers will recognize our regular segment, The Industry Recap, where we give you the quick scoop on major industry news stories. Number four, Property Casualty 360. This is a great website that focuses on primarily property and casualty insurance stories and also give regular updates on who's using what and where people are moving within the industry. Number three, Insurance Journal, another website that focuses on insurance news stories, but what makes this website one of our favorites is how they select stories from across the country. They break down their stories down to East, West, Southeast, South Central, Midwest, and national news. So plenty of ways to get your insurance fix. Number two, Reuters. Our final website on our list, Reuters takes a more global lens on insurance related news stories. With over 2,000 media customers in 128 countries worldwide, if you want to remain in touch with the insurance industry at large, this is the news website for you. And our number one place to get industry insurance news is our Daily News Digest. Not to tote the SLA again, but this is a daily newsletter that we send out over email internally within the company as well as externally to our membership. Each day we carefully select relevant insurance news stories, most often from the websites we just listed, so you, by golly, don't have to. We also list industry events as well as our upcoming CE courses and even a joke of the day. If you are already receiving our daily news digest and would like to start, please email us at 5 at 10 at and we'll be sure you're added to our recipient list. And did we mention it's free? Well, obviously it's free, Zeke. Why wouldn't it be? I guess it's just a testament to how good it is. But speaking of good free stuff... I guess that means it's time for... The Daily Gift Away. So, what's today's national day, Jasmine? Well, Zeke, today's national day is National Take Your Dog to Work Day. And since you were in charge of the props today, did you bring it? Bring what? It. Greg. <laughs> you know Greg's not allowed outdoors, you know that. But I did bring these hot dog buns. What? Well, I guess you're not wrong, so I'll give you that one. Today's winner will receive a $25 gift card to Target. And Target's mascot is a dog, right? How fitting. So without further ado, today's winner is... Alina Deepal. Congratulations. Hot diggity dog. In the winner's jar you go, Alina. Don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at slatecal.org to claim your prize, or if you have any comments or questions, or hot dogs for the grill for the show. And that's all we have for today. Replacing your daily work coffee break, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Zeke. Thank you and have a great weekend, everyone.
think that's good. I think it's good too. I think that's good. Yeah.